RC car. She's waiting patiently. She loves her RC trucks. Come on, Lola. Let's go. Let's go play. Come on. What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Today we're going to be working on the Axial Wraith Spawn. Uh, going to be putting in the new transmission gear set, upgraded to a metal. We're going to be taking the plastics out and putting the metal in. AX31585 is your part number. We're going to get these wheels off, get it flipped over, take out the skid plate, and get the transmission dropped down so we'll have access. So stay tuned. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Got the wheels off. Barely got the wheels off. So let's get the cab off of here. Gotta take this skid plate off. I was bummed out when this happened to this axial. I tell you what, I was bummed. And it was something stupid too. I got it on video. hadn't hadn't released it yet. I, I'll put it in the video. Don't make it up. It. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, what was that? Like what? What are you? Are you shitting me? This thing let loose on something so stupid. That's funny. That's pretty funny. What happened? Jeez Louise! Let's get the shafts off. I'm gonna go ahead and. Loosen up this set screw here. Set this aside. And then we're going to take off these four bolts that's holding our transmission motor mount in place. Take them off. And this would be the perfect time to put a new plate on. I wish I had one. Alright, these guys out of the way. Put them on my magnet. There's four screws off in your drive sh shaft. The motor mount just comes right out of here. Motor and everything. See that? Boom. Uh -huh. Then we're going to unplug the motor wires. And get this backed up out of the way here. Alright, that differential sounds good. Yep, that differential sounds good. Yeah, you see that? It's not spinning there. Our, our, our yokes here are out drive so we're gonna uh get this case tore apart this piece of shit over here off I'm gonna have to upgrade the spur gear because i know i'm gonna strip that out one day especially upgrading this transmission you're probably we're gonna put more force on this spur gear now so that's probably gonna be uh, a future upgrade we'll get that motor out we're gonna blow it out too while we got this thing apart Let's take these off. Okay. And like I said, these magnets come in handy. Once you get all those screws loosened up, your motor off, your transmission case comes right apart like so. So let's see here. Okay, yeah. So that was, I was right. That's the stripped out gears you see there. We're going to be putting some new upgraded gears in. Just be careful when you're pulling this stuff apart. AX31585 part number there for the axle upgraded transmission. Get these gears out. Yeah, this is going to be nice, y'all. I don't have to worry about this no more. All right. The bearings out this idler gear first. Usually you can use your pin just to kind of push them out. Okay, we'll set the old gear aside. 
So we're going to pull this out drive all the way out, okay? And this guy right here, okay? And then you're going to get your new your new metal gear here and then we're going to have to screw these screws in. You've got to Loctite these because they're going into metal. It doesn't look like there was a drop of Loctite on them. Alright. That's basically your locker. Get the Loctite. Get some Loctite on. Alright. Make sure you got even pressure on all of them. Torque them down about the same, so that you you know you're not putting pressure on one side or the other, and it's going to be wobbly on it on you. I would actually, you know, test it out. Just kind of look at it, spin it, make sure it's uh, spinning evenly on all 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 the way around. Okay, so that's done. Drop our bearings back into this idler gear here. Just drop your bearings back right back into it just the way you found them, like so. All right, and then you put your pin back, and that's ready to go back into your transmission case. So, next, if you did have stripped gears, you want to you clean this case out with some type of brush um, or blow it out. I'm going to be lazy. I don't feel like going out to the shop and getting the blower. So I'm just going to brush it out. Make sure all the plastic's out of both sides so you don't have any type of uh, obstruction, anything to get stuck in the gear and cause a poor you know poor rotation okay like so that side's clean now we're going to go to this side clean that trash out of there get you a rag or something don't wipe it on your hand like i do i'm a freaking moron all right let's get that oh hell that went going bye bye shit fire and save the matches idler gear and we got the diff. Okay, like so. See how that's all put back together? I'm gonna get some grease to put on it. Just give it a little little turn, make sure it's running right. No obstructions in there, no trash. Yeah. Let's get it back in its case and give it a little spin and see if everything is uh, smooth once it's back in the case because this could be a little piece of plastic that you missed or overlooked when we were kind of cleaning this case up so went back together nice give it a little spin yep and there's something else in there so that tells me I'm gonna have to get my lazy ass up go out to the shop and blow this case out we'll be back this pick and just kind of went through every gear just made sure all the debris was out I had to do every gear but if you're smarter than me Big B you would just clean out this this one right here just clean him out before you put your new gears in make sure there's no plastic in in the teeth right here so now it's uh, spinning nice and freely heavy metal RC smooth as butter butter smooth butter smooth <laughs> I like that guy he's freaking awesome so yeah nice and smooth all right now we could put it all back together okay so so you put your spur gear cover on first and then your motor plate get them all lined up I just loctited these screws so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again since I had to take it off you want to take your time get everything lined up perfect 
snug them up and work your way around snugging them up you want to get them kind of the same you know torqued down the same you look at your motor plate make sure it's all the same height all the way around mine looks like it is it's kind of deceiving though all right make sure your spacer the fat end is sticking up toward the spur gear okay and get your spur gear on there and it should line up perfect with your pinion that looks good it looks good make sure it sounds good and it does check your check your motor screws make sure they're tight make sure your mesh isn't too tight or too loose this is 48 pitch gearing so this stuff can be deceiving at times all right let's see okay so i think it's all the way down i'm gonna back it off a quarter turn it's working good got a 3s battery on it just checking the the smoothness of the transmission sounds good y'all sounds good get the spur gear cover on before you mount it up because it is a pain in the ass to get off and on when it's mounted up in the truck motor goes on the passenger side like so you can go ahead and get one of your drive shafts mounted up all right we got that booger on Let's get the back drive shaft hooked up. And then we'll get it mounted up to the motor. It's a pretty versatile little platform. Uh, these, these side panels I put on, I've got, these are free side panels that I made a video. It's recycled plastic. Check the video out. All right, so now we're ready to get this tr transmission bolted back up. Uh, get your screw and get one lined up here. It's a simple fix. Ain't no sense in tearing, tearing the whole damn thing apart. You know, use your better judgment. If you don't think you could do it like this, if you don't feel like fighting around with it, tear it all apart. Hell. It's your truck. Do it. Do it how you want to do it. Boom. Done. Now we're going to put the uh, mount the, side, the skid plate back up to the, the body frame. And this you want to take your time with because it can be a little nerve wracking. I'm drive her out, finish off these screws, because we are screwing into plastic and you don't want to strip it out. Well, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, you ready to play? Oh, you ready to play? Yeah, yeah, give up. Good girl, give up. Give up. Good girl. Up, up. Oh, it's a good girl. Up, up. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Sit, sit, sit. No, sit. Good girl. Give up. Yep, pop. Good girl. Up, up. Oh, it's Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Smart dog. Now I just can teach her how to work on these damn things. Be all right. All right, we got the wheels back on. Got the new upgraded transmission in the Wraith. And it's time to play. Yep, so the transmission seems to be working out pretty good. Sounds nice and smooth. Hadn't had any type of hang ups at all. I actually have replaced these shocks with an internal spring shock. That will be in my next rig video. But it sounds good. I'm kind of impressed with the shocks too. You guys will have to check them out. They're very cheap, affordable uh, shocks. No more broken gears. And this thing's got a lot of power. So you're basically going to have to upgrade the transmission. It's, it's a must, really. 
Especially when you're crawling and trying to make it up a rock and you're not going nowhere. It's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of pressure being put on those plastic ears. Like, just like a situation like this, when you're trying to make it up a steep incline, like that, that's when you need the metal gear the most. And stuff like that, that's how you turn it around. show you guys uh, the rates in action with the new gear. Now let's open it up, see what it does full speed. Yeah, see it sounds good. Sounds real good. You can hear the difference in sound with these upgraded gears on it. I don't really like rock bouncing, man. That'll break too much stuff. Upgraded the transmission gears to an axial steel transmission gear. I uh, haven't had any problems with that at all. Uh, as you've seen, I did have a little problem with some steering up front with the drive shaft and, and cup, but we'll get that worked out. Um, so that's, that's going to wrap up the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for tuning in to Ironclad RC, a uh, channel where we tinker, test, and tune to everything RC. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to get notified for future builds. Uh, thank you for tuning in. See you next time.